Hello, what is it with piggy banks? Piggy banks fail at teaching money management because they're not financially literate. They are a fun part of childhood, but they fail at teaching money management. Our kids are growing up in a world that uses an increasing amounts of money that we can't see or touch. We spend and receive money every day that never exists in the form of cash. However, we continue to have piggy banks for our kids. They are fun, they are cute. And most of us grew up with piggy banks, but cash and piggy banks don't teach our kids real life money management skills. First of all, a piggy bank is not a real bank. It's a container, it holds cash. A piggy bank doesn't read checks, doesn't have any idea what to do with them. A piggy bank can't do math very well. And a piggy bank can't process a debit card. A piggy bank can't pay a credit card bill. So with all of these things that piggy banks can't do, what can parents do? Rethink your allowance system and rethink how your kids are tracking their money. One way that I like a lot is if you would read my book, but you can create your own allowance tracking system. You need paper and pencil, and someday when the kids are older, they can create their own spreadsheets. A lot of kids know how to do this a lot sooner than a lot of us grown-ups ever figured it out. The essential part is that they track all of their money in and out as a number. And this teaches them cash flow in action. It teaches them that every money decision affects the bottom line. And when you're about to do this, discuss this allowance plan with your parenting partners. Consider this as an educational activity that you're providing for your kids in your home. And if it starts when they're three years old, they're gonna do this for 15 years. They're gonna be pretty savvy at knowing how to manage their money and make decisions. And this is more about parenting than financial expertise. You're just providing a system for them. You are the facilitator. You don't need to be a financial expert to do that. You can encourage them. You can praise them. You can commiserate with them when they make a mistake. And you would start with determining a regular amount for each child and you can decide what additional earning opportunities to offer and add spending responsibilities. So a child has to learn to balance spending for fun and necessary expenses. And I've said this before, my favorite is to have your kids buy their own school supplies. You transfer a fund to their control and they have to manage it. They have to get everything on their list and there's money left over, they get to keep it. It encourages them to be smart shoppers. And meet regularly with your kids to discuss and review their spending history again. It's all in writing. So you have a financial diary that you can talk about. And it helps them know where they've been and it helps them plan for the future. These are also lots of fun to read later on. And be prepared to learn with your child. In that three to 18 year old range, that's 15 years. Things about money are going to change and you can learn together. My oldest daughter is the one that dragged me to the bank to sign me up to get my ATM card. She says, mom, you gotta do this, it's so much easier. She was in college, she says, it's much easier. Get yourself a, a card. So I learned that from her. Again, piggy banks, are great, they're cute, but they're missing out on all of these lessons that you can help your kids learn. And, and just to talk about piggy banks not necessarily keeping track of money very well, my grandson was about five. He started getting a little bit of a cash allowance and then they transitioned to the written account. But when he had that cash allowance, if he put money in his piggy bank, he wrote it down in a little ledger that he was keeping for himself. 
Maybe he didn't trust the piggy bank. I just think he really wanted to know how much money he had without dumping out the piggy bank. So get in on this experience with your kids. It's a great parenting experience. You will see your kids grow in confidence and the ability to make decisions and accept the results of their decisions because they can't blame you if they bought that toy that they didn't like after a while. So click on the link below to read the complete blog on my website and maybe even order a copy of the book to be your guide. You download free allowance log sheets that you can start with kids as early as preschool. And please subscribe and share with other parents. Thanks for listening.